Hey guys, it's Danielle, and as you can see, I am here to do a diaper bag comparison. This cat, y'all. This cat. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Danielle, and I am going to do a diaper bag comparison, long overdue video. I wanted to carry these bags, get to know them, love on them, and then come back and do a full comparison for you guys. So that is what we're going to do today. But before I jump into this comparison, let's get the logistics out of the way. For those of you who are new here, my name is Danielle and I am the non-traditional mommy. I have 11 wonderful children, 10 of them are still at home. I am married to my wonderful husband and together we run a business. We also homeschool and on this channel, I like to share my thoughts, my feelings, reviews, things like that. So if that is something that interests you guys, please hit the subscribe button and join my little family. For the rest of my non-traditional family, you guys know that you are the MVPs and I love you bunches. Thank you so much, you guys, for hanging in there and watching my channel. Love you guys. All right, let's jump into this diaper bag comparison. So I have four bags here. These are the four bags that I kind of tousled with when I was first thinking about upgrading my diaper bag, getting my diaper bag swag up. And as you can see, I ended up getting all four of them. So I wanted to do a comparison for those of you who may be on the fence and trying to figure out which one is gonna be best for you, for your lifestyle, and all of that good stuff. So. Let's do this. I'm gonna try not to make this too long, you guys. I have done a full review over all of these bags, so if you wanna see a detailed review of each bag, then go check out the videos. I will try to link them below of each um, full review for these bags. So I'm not going to do a full review over them. I'm going to start with least expensive to most expensive. So the Itsy Ritzy Triple Threat Tote is going to be the least expensive bag of the four. This again is by Itsy Ritzy. The price ranges from anywhere from $119 to $150, just depending on where you purchase this bag from. It does come in multiple colors. This is black. Um, and it, again, it comes in uh, different colors as well. This bag is a vegan leather. So if you are all about vegan, then this bag will definitely work for you. You can purchase these bags on Amazon as well as the Itsy Ritzy website, as well as Itsy Ritzy um, retailers. We are Itsy Ritzy retailers. So anybody that carries Itsy Ritzy items. So you do have a few options on where you can purchase this triple threat tote. The next one we're gonna compare is going to be the lovely Ella Dane. She is the baby of these bags. So this is the newest um, release diaper bag. This bag retails for $149.99 on the Ella Dane website. It does come in two other colors, I believe. This color is the pearl gray. It is also a vegan leather, so if that's important to you, this bag will work for you. Again, you can only get this on the Ella Dan website currently, and it does retail for about $149.99. Next up is going to be the 12 Little Fold Over Tote. This bag is $159.99 on the 12 Little website. I know you can get these from the 12 Little website, obviously, as well as any authorized retailer. Again, we are an authorized retailer, so we do carry 12 Little items as well. Um, this bag is a nylon bag. So it is the most weather resistant of the four bags because of this nylon exterior. So that is the 12 little fold over tote. Now, the grand dame of these bags is going to be the Lily J Megan. This bag retails for $375, so it is the most expensive bag. It is 100% authentic leather, so it is real leather, thus explaining the cost for the bag. 
this bag can only be purchased on the Lily J website. There is a Facebook group that does resale, so if you want to get it pre-loved, that is an option as well. It comes in several different colors. This color is the brandy color. So that is the Lily J Megan. So let's just talk about all the things that are the same with these bags. So all four of these bags can be carried three ways. They can all be carried tote stall, crossbody, as well as backpack. So all three bags can be carried um, in three different ways, which is why I love them. Now, how they can be carried that way is what makes them different. So let's start with the Itsy Ritzy. So the Itsy Ritzy has these straps here. These straps are removable, so they do have these little buttons here, and they just um, unsnap and come off. And then it has a crossbody strap that attaches to the D-rings here. To make it backpack style, you have to unhook it and then you would hook it to this part here. And then of course you would take off the shoulder strap. I'm not gonna do that for the sake of time. But you would hook it here and then you have the second strap that it comes with. and you would hook it there. And now it's in backpack style. So the thing with the Itsy Ritzy tote is it can only either be carried crossbody or backpack. It cannot be carried both ways. So you couldn't just take it off your shoulders and then put it on your back. You would have to literally take the strap off and make it into a backpack style bag. Now the Ella Dane, Unlike any of these other bags, the Ella Dane stands out because she can be carried all three ways at the same exact time. So you have the tote here, and then you have the backpack straps which are attached, so they do not come off. You can unhook them here and tuck them down into this if you didn't want the backpack straps to be shown. So you could do it like that. And then it has the crossbody strap that is also connected, but it's connected with a D-ring. So you could take off the crossbody straps if you did not want those, and you could just have this nice, cute, little, simple top handle tote. So the Ella Dane is the only one of these four bags that can be carried all three ways at the same time so keep that in mind if convenience is important for you now the 12 little tote it also has the top handle and then it has this one strap so unlike the itsy ritzy it only has one strap and you just simply unhook this strap from here unhook it from the d-rings here here and then you just connect it to the D-rings there and now you have it in crossbody style. So it is very easy to transition the 12 little tote into a crossbody bag. I have done it plenty of times before where I needed to take it off my back and put it into a tote and it did not take me any time to do it so it is easy to do, however, you are gonna have to unhook and use the one strap. So that's the 12 room. The Megan. Now, Megan is really, in my opinion, a two-way bag because you have the straps here. However, the backpack strap, you tie into a knot when you wear it in backpack style. It is one strap. The problem is, is when you put this bad boy in a knot, you guys, you're never ever gonna take it out of this knot. I mean, you're just not going to do it. It is unrealistic. As a mom, once we have something set, we typically want to leave it that way. So I do not ever carry this bag crossbody unless I'm going to add an additional strap, but it is not going to come 
from this strap. So keep that in mind with the Megan. I do want to quickly talk about the top handles. So the NC Ritzy has the two handles, which obviously are which disconnect, so you don't have to have these handles. But these handles are really top handles. You're not going to really put this under your arm, but you can. Let me show you guys. So as you can see, it has a very small drop, but it fits perfectly like a little purse. So that's the Itsy Ritzy. Now, the Ella Dane has this handle, which obviously, you guys, you're not getting on your shoulder. This is gonna be more of a arm carry like this or obviously just a grab and go like so. But that's not a huge issue because you have this strap here, which you can carry like so, or of course make it shorter. And carry like this. Like the Ella Dane, 12 Littles drop is very small. You can get it over your shoulders like so, but look how close that is under my arms. Now, of course, I do have some chunky arms, so for you skinny mamas out there, that might not matter. So you can carry it this way, but it's not gonna be super comfortable for a very long time. So typically, you're gonna carry it like this or a grab and go. Megan has the best drop here with the handles, as you can see. So straight off, you just pick it and carry it up or carry it and it looks so cute. When it comes to the straps and carrying the bags the three ways, I am going to say that the Ella Dane wins when it comes to carrying the bag three ways because the Ella Dane is the only bag that you can actually carry three ways at one time. When it comes to carrying it as a tote or a drop um, on your shoulders, Lily J is definitely going to take that win. It has by far just the best drop. However, Ella Dane with this additional strap has a very nice drop as well. So Ella Dane is definitely gonna take the win for being able to carry it three ways. Lily J is gonna come in a close second, 12 little third, and then Itsy Ritsy, I'm gonna have to put this one in last place. Let's talk about the outside pockets of the bag. So the Itsy Ritsy has two magnetic pockets on the front, and these are magnetic, so there's no button. There's like a little magnet in here. You can actually feel the magnet. You guys might be able to see that magnet. Yep, there you go. You can see it right there on camera. And then it just magically, well not magically, but magically closes. It has two bottle pockets on each side. These are insulated bottle pockets, you guys. And they would hold probably about one bottle or so. And that is on both sides of the bag. There are no pockets on the back of the bag. Miss Ella Dane is very similar. She also has two pockets on the front. These pockets are slightly deeper than the Itsy Ritsy um, bag, but they are magnetic as well. However, it has the buttons on them, if you guys can see there, and then the buttons just magnetically attach to the bag. The bottle pockets are not insulated, so keep that in mind. These are not insulated bottle pockets. It's like a, just a silky material on the inside. Ella Dane does have an additional zipper pocket across the front. And that pocket is, you know, almost hand deep. And then on the back, she has an additional pocket here. And if you guys saw my review on this bag, this pocket fits my 13 inch MacBook. So a very, very generous size back pocket. It also has this zipper pocket here, which usually can, you know, I keep my phone or my wallet or your keys can go here. The 12 little 
has one pocket in the front and it is just a drop pocket so usually I find myself just dropping my phone in here or my keys um, receipts things like that this is one big insulated pocket that goes all the way around the side so this is an insulated bottle pocket it holds two large size water bottles maybe even three small bottles um, but it is an insulated bottle pocket and then it has this little tiny zipper pocket on the top and this pocket usually I will also throw my keys in there I have some candies in there now but just little knickknacks and trinkets I will throw in this zipper pocket the back of the bag doesn't have any pockets however there is this nice little zipper compartment right here on the bottom of the bag it's not very deep you guys it's shallow but this pocket is awesome for things that you want to keep secure close to your body you don't want people to have access to so if you're traveling you know your passport your wallet anything like that you can keep in this little pocket so that is a nifty feature of the 12 little now megan here she has one big pocket on the front this pocket is a button closure with a kind of like a magnet feature so the button has to be lined up in order to snap but you don't have to like push it in to snap it if that makes sense once it's lined up it pretty much snaps on its own um there but it has that pocket on the front and it is pretty secure so this pocket you can fit your phone you can fit your wallet so you guys see i'm currently carrying this bag so this is usually just like my little catch-all i'll throw my phone in there and then it has these two button pockets on the side now these are not bottle pockets the megan does not have bottle pockets I keep my coin purse in this pocket and as you can see that's it that's all like this pocket is so tight they're not really that functional um, I think they're more for style than function there's one on the other side and I just have a set of keys in there as you guys can see but again these pockets are super tight these are not bottle pockets you guys and then the Megan doesn't have any pockets on the back. As far as pocket functionalities on the outside of the bag, I, you guys, this one is so hard. When it comes to bottle pockets, 12 Little by far is going to win that competition bar none. These bottle pockets are massive. You're getting a mommy bottle, a toddler bottle, an infant bottle, a daddy bottle in these pockets with no problem they're insulated they're huge this is going to win you have a nice cell phone pocket here as well as a nice little zipper pocket for any additional stuff that you want to keep catch um and keep on the outside of your bag so i'm going to give outside pockets the win to 12 little for second place it's going to have to be the itsy ritzy again you have these two nice magnetic pockets here and then you have bottle pockets that are insulated we want bottle pockets that are insulated so you have those on here and they are nice size bottle pockets for third place it's gonna go to miss ella dane again they have the nice pockets here which are nicely magnetic you have a zipper here so i love that you have extra for mommy needs a mommy zipper but you guys the fact that these bottle pockets are not insulated that's why it's gonna have to come in third for me just not having the insulation of the bottle pockets however for functionality and having lots of outside pockets Ella Dane would definitely be number one in functionality of outside pockets sadly lily j megan is going to have to be in last place 
just for the functionality of the outside pockets. You don't have any bottle pockets. The one pocket, mommy pocket you have is very shallow. Um, there is not deep, it's tight. So yeah, this button sometimes can be annoying just trying to get it to line up. So I'm gonna have to give her last place for outside pocket functionality. Alrighty guys, let's talk about the inside of these bags. Let's talk about the zipper functionality. So this is the itsy ritzy zipper. As you can see, it just zips right across and then it opens up like so. So it opens nice and wide. Here's the inside. So we have on the back one magnetic pocket there that you can see that's a magnetic and it is huge. That's where the changing pad currently is. Then we have two pockets on the back there which are again nice size pockets. On the front we have this zipper pocket here which extends across the whole bag. It's nice and deep. Look at that, you guys. I mean, look how deep. Can you guys see that, how deep that zipper pocket is? It's massive. Also on the front of the bag, also have one, two, three pockets on the front. You also have a mesh pocket on the side. So in all, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pockets on the inside of this bag and then of course you just have the open inside in the middle Ella Dane if you notice the zipper starts on the side it is a two pull zipper which is super nice and it just comes all the way around giving it this nice open mouth look at that so, the back of the bag has this zipper pocket here. Not quite as big as the Itsy Ritzy zipper pocket, but it does have that zipper pocket there. And then it has a nice mesh pocket along the back. Again, not quite as big as the Itsy Ritzy pocket. The front of the bag doesn't have, um, the front inside doesn't have any zipper. It does have a elastic pocket here and an elastic pocket here the cool thing can you guys see it has a little on the side it has a little zipper pocket here and this has a um this has a zipper on it so on the side it has a little zipper pocket here which is pretty cool and that just zips right across if I can get it. So there we go. And then it has a um, key holder on the inside as well. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six pockets on the inside of the bag. 12 little. You guys, look. I mean, this bag is just so freaking massive. But look how deep that bag is. It is just massively deep. So, on the front you have a zipper pocket here. And it's a very shallow zipper pocket as you can see. So not deep like the Itsy Ritzy. And then it has two pockets here. These are not elastic pockets. And then on the back of the bag, it has two elastic pockets. Finally, we have the Megan, and I'm carrying her currently. Now, the thing to keep in mind with the Megan is she comes with a insert. So, we are literally just gonna talk about the pockets that are in the bag. We're not gonna talk about the inserts because that is unfair <laughs> to the other bag. So, it is all packed up, you guys. So on the back you have this zipper here and it is a very shallow zipper. I fit my little um, case back there, but you have that zipper there. And then on the front of the back, you have two pockets, a pocket here and a pocket, can you guys see that? 
and a little tiny pocket there. So I just have some cash in there right now, but a pocket here. And then this pocket, I have an umbrella, umbrella in my little bag that I carry all the time. So the inside of the Megan has one, two, three pockets. Again, Megan does come with an insert. So that could essentially give this bag tons and unlimited amounts of pockets. So, with just the basics of the bag, as far as pockets on the inside, the winner is gonna have to be the Itsy Ritzy. This has the most pockets inside of the bag. So if you prefer to pack your bag in pockets and things like that to stay organized, then the Itsy Ritzy is definitely going to be the bag and the winner for you because it just has tons and tons of inside pockets. Next would definitely be Ella Dane, just because she has tons of pockets on the inside as well for you to pack. Um, so she would get a very close second. And then it's gonna be 12 Little, just because not only do you have those pockets, but man, look how deep this bag is. You can literally fit I mean, your whole life in this bag. So just for inside, this is definitely going to be a third. And again, I'm gonna have to put my Megan in last place. Now, if we're talking about the insert, Megan would win all day long if you wanna use that insert with this bag. It would, she would win. But the insert comes out and essentially you could put the insert in any of these bags and give those bags the additional pockets. So that's why I did not count it for the Megan. Let's talk about the materials and weather use for the bag. So of course, these two are vegan leather. So you pretty much can carry them in all kinds of weather. The um, Ella Dane is more of a smooth kind of vegan leather. I don't know if you guys can notice that, but it's like a smooth, it feels closer to a synthetic leather. This one, I think when it's saying vegan leather, it's like the straps are probably vegan leather. This is vegan leather, but these parts are nylon. So it's like a nylon, a mixture of nylon and vegan leather. But I do feel this bag will stand stand up better in weather over the Ella Day. The 12 Little is all nylon, so this bag can be carried in all types of weather. You're not worried about it. Megan, she is all leather. I am not carrying my Megan if I know it's raining. It's just not happening. I have not treated her with anything yet, shame on me, but I have not treated her, so I am very cautious of where and when I carry her. Um, if you saw my review, I was getting her repaired. At that time, I was carrying her pretty much everywhere, and after I had to get my button repaired, I just started being a little more cautious with where I carried her and how I carried her. So um, I don't tend to carry her um, as much as I did before. She does have feet on the bottom, but even you guys see, I still even got a little dust there, even though she has feet. Because I, you, I don't know if you can tell, but it still kind of touches the bottom, um, even though it has feet. Now, Itsy Ritsy has this rubber bottom, which is the best. I am not concerned when I am carrying this. If I have to put it on the floor, it is not like, oh, I gotta put it on the floor because it does have these rubber feet. The 12 Little, I mean, it's just the nylon bottom. So I am, um, I do tend not to put this on the floor if I don't have to, but if I have to, of course, I can just clean it and wipe it off pretty easily but there is no protection whatsoever on the bottom. And then the Ella Dane, she has feet as well. But because this is such a light color, um, I tend to not carry her as much and it's to many places as well. And again, I'm not sure how much protection the feet really gives this bag. So I don't reach for her unless I know she's gonna be safe when I carry her out as well. 
So when it comes to weather and just an all time, all purpose, carry it anywhere type of bag, I'm going to have to give it again to the Itsy Ritzy just because it is vegan leather, but it's also nylon. So you have like a combination of both. I feel like this bag would be very easy to wipe off, to keep clean. You have the rubber bottom, so you're not worried about it. Um, it's just an all weather bag. 12 little. It's going to be very second. I mean, almost a first runner up. Again, it's nylon. It's very durable. You're not worried about it um, getting rained on or if you have to set it down somewhere, it's not a huge issue with this bag. Third is definitely going to be Ella Dane. And then as you know, I'm not carrying the Megan in certain types of weather. So that is as, as far as weather goes. Alrighty, let's look at the um, changing pads. They all come with changing pads. The Itsy Ritzy comes with stroller straps and Ella Dane comes with stroller straps as well. So those are these both come with stroller straps. The 12 Little and the Lily J did not come with stroller straps. Okay, so all the bags come with changing pads. So this is the 12 Little changing pad very small very compact you would think with such a huge bag that you would get a more substantial changing pad but you do not so this is the changing pad it is very thin as you can see it is very compact so that's the 12 little lily jade is very similar to 12 little it's a very pretty color, but it comes rolled up so it doesn't fold. It is also pretty thin, pretty small. Lily J beats the 12 little in size. However, they are about the same when it comes to thickness. Ella Dane. So hers is a diaper clutch. That's what she calls it. So. It has this nice wipeable, I'm not sure what you call this material, but you guys know that that typical change in pad material. These don't have that, if you notice. This, even Lily, Lily J, is more like a cloth. So you would have to throw this in the washer if it gets messed up. You're not just going to be able to wipe it down like you can these two. So, Ella Dane comes with this nice little bag that is attached and it has a little bag here to stick some diapers or some wipes in so very cool and it's more of a rounded structure but again pretty small pretty thin like the other ones itsy ritzy these diaper bags are just thick plush diaper bag look at that i don't know if you guys can see but look at how plush i wish you could feel through the camera how plush this is it's super thick it's super cute it says head and toes it's that wipeable kind of material again pretty much standard size so they're all the same size and length all the same pretty much in width but the itsy ritzy just has these bags beat when it comes to the thickness of them so when it comes to the change of pad that is included i'm definitely going to give it to the itsy ritzy just because of the thickness of it when you're changing your baby somewhere where you need a changing pad you obviously are going to want the best protection that you can get and this one is going to provide that First runner up is, is absolutely going to be Ella Dane. I love the fact that her changing pad comes with this little bag so you can stick your diapers and your wipes in there and basically just carry this to the bathroom. It has a little strap on it so you can just pull it out and not have to take your entire diaper bag to the bathroom with you or wherever you're changing the baby. So that's going to be second. 12 little is going to be third i like the fact that it is compact and that again you can wipe it off and just keep moving lily j you guys once again i didn't realize lily j was going to be getting 
last place like this. I'm like a little shocked here as I do this review. But the fact that this is more of a cloth material, um, you know, I do worry about it carrying germs and how that works because you you can't really wipe it off and go. This is more like it needs to be washed. Now, I, I am currently carrying this in my diaper bag, so I do use it, but there is that kind of like, uh, when it comes to um, putting it on items and using it, it's compact, so I do use it. I just tend to use it when I know that I'm not gonna be in places that I'm, you know, kind of like, ew, about laying the baby on. So that's typically when I will throw this one in my diaper bag. Let's talk really quickly about the style because that matters, right? Style, we're stylish mommies. You know, we're non-traditional snobby mommies, right? So the style of the bag of course i got these this one in black so it's gonna be different depending on the color that you got with your bag but the itsy ritzy is a very just very sleek it's not like all in your face it does come with this tassel that is removable so if you don't like the tassel you can take it off the tassel does have the little spider on it can you guys see that so i like that it does have the little spider logo um, the Itsy Ritzy logo is very pretty, very classy. I just really like how the black on the silver, it's just very chic, very classy to me um, kind of bag. I tend to carry this bag if I'm going on a date and I want to look more grown upish than mommyish, if that makes sense, more wifeish than mommyish. So um, I just kind of like how it's very sleek and chic um, with its hardware. Ella Dane. Now, this has the gold hardware. I think it's beautiful on this bag. Now, as you can see, Ella Dane is more squishy. It doesn't really keep its shape unless it's full. So, I do keep this bag stuffed when I store it in my closet so it does Yay. keep its shape. But the gold hardware is just so pretty. It's so smooth. It has, um, doesn't have any of her logo on it the ella dane logo is very subtle so if you're a person that doesn't really like logos all over your bag you're gonna love this bag it does have a tassel as well and it just buttons on so you can take it off but again i think the gold is just so pretty on this bag now, 12 Little is not a pretty bag, you guys. This bag is functional, not pretty. It is black. It's, this is a unisex bag, though. So, if you are the type of person that likes for your husband to carry your bag, then this is going to be the bag. It is not. It doesn't scream mommy. It doesn't scream feminine. It is a very unisex bag. If you don't like all the glitz and glam and the pretty and the shiny, then this is going to be the bag for you. Um, the 12 little logo is, again, in kind of like a leather little emboss there. And the inside is very subtle. It just says 12 little on the inside. It's gray. It's black. It, it just, it's just a very functional bag. Now, Miss Megan, she is just so pretty. You have the gold hardware. It comes with these jade beads on it and a tassel. This is removable. Let me see, guys. I've never tried to take it off, but I think, yeah, you can take it off. You would just have to, you know, unpull it here. So you could take that off if you didn't like it. But I mean, how could you not like this beautiful tassel? It does say Lily J on the tassel. You guys can see that if it stops moving but i do love that and then there's a beautiful blue on the inside it reminds me of tiffany's so i love that beautiful blue on the inside of this bag it just makes me happy every time i look inside of it so this bag screams stylish it screams beautiful it screams luxury it's just it's a beautiful beautiful bag so hands down when it comes to the beauty of the bag and if you're wanting something just pretty and stylish and luxury then Megan Lily J is going to definitely be the first place winner in that I'm gonna have to give Ella Dane 
the second place in that. And then of course, Itsy Ritzy would take third and 12 Little would take fourth place in that category. I have a special guest to tell us the, the winner of the bags. All right, so when it comes to just the overall of the bag, functionality, um, style, how to carry it, outside pockets, things like that, the, I would say the bag that is going to be the overall winner would definitely be just because if you're going for style, functionality, how to carry it, convenience, being able to carry it in mostly all weather, all settings, then she is definitely going to do that for you. This can be a one-time purchase bag and you're gonna get every single thing that you need out of this bag. Easy, convenient, style, all of that. Price point is a nice price point. So Ella Day would definitely be the winner for that particular overall bag. The next one's gonna be the Itsy Ritzy. Now, even though carrying this bag from um, backpack to crossbody can be a pain in the butt i think with it having the uh two straps and then just the style of it definitely would work for an all carry bag it's not too big so if you don't need a huge bag like this then this is going to be definitely the better option of these two but with that being said 12 little would come in third and then lily j would come in the final place and the only reason is because you're not carrying her when it rains and you are never ever going to take these backpack straps off once you have her in backpack style and then you don't have bottle pockets on here if you don't want to use the insert with this bag so for those reasons that is why i would put her in last place so that is my comparison of the four backpack style diaper bags. If you guys have any questions about any of these bags or wanna see them in more details, again, I have did full reviews over all the bags. I've, did, I've done a, um, I think three ways to carry the Ella Dane, how to pack her. I haven't done that on these other bags, but I will do that. Let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. Um, but other than that, that is it. If you guys, again, have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've hung around this long, hit the subscribe button for the rest of my family. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.